Hello! On this video, we are going to show you how to unlock Segway 9 Bot F2 Pro Scooter to 32 km per hour speed limit. Cruise control ability to set start speed, improve security alarms and some other settings will become available after unlocking. This video will be helpful for those who have new European versions which cannot be unblocked by apps like Serdash or any other hacks anymore. The solution is to replace the controller by the one with the global firmware version installed. It can be ordered from marketplace like AliExpress. Please, don't be scary, it's much easier than it seems to be. We have already installed the new controller and this solution is working. Let's go! First of all, slowly tear off part of the foot pad. Now you need to unscrew two bolts from the bottom cover. For this it's better to use the shorter screw you have because the wheel blocks the access to this spot. Next step is not mandatory, but doing it will help you to pull out the controller. Unscrew these four bolts from the bottom with 2.5 mm screw. Next step is to unscrew two bolts here. Next step is to unscrew two bolts from the top. Now you can uh, take off the cover and disconnect the connector. Then disconnect the power cord. Now unscrew these three bolts with 3 mm screw. It must be included with your scooter. Then you need to disconnect all controller connectors from the left and bottom sides of it. Now you can pull out the controller. It won't be easy, but you can help with pushing it from the bottom with another hand. That's why we unscrew those four optional bolts from the bottom. You can see that some bottom cover is glued to the controller by thermal paste. We need to detach it. Now put the detached cover back. Now put four bolts back to the bottom cover. Then we take the new controller which has global version firmware and put it on its place. and connect all the connectors afterwards. Now you can connect the power cord. 
If you hear the beep sound, then you have done everything correctly. Also, you can check by pressing the button. Now let's connect the top cover. Now screw two bolts on the top. Don't forget to screw two hidden bolts on the bottom. After that, put back the bottom cover and then screw it with two bolts. Finally, stick back the part of the foot pad. Done. Let's see the result.